What's good, YouTube? Welcome to the Hot Rod Gaming Channel. Now, today we are back with some more the quarry. The last time we left off, I got attacked by this old ragged cop and it stuck me in the neck with something, made me pass out. But I think the boyfriend got attacked by some kind of animal or whatever you want to call it. But let's go ahead and hop it back into this game. Hopping back. Let's go ahead and hop back into this game and see what else it takes. This is where we left off. Let's see what's going on here. Which the regular? Hello, my what friend. What the hell is going on Welcome here? Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? No. I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. And I act like a whole fool. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought. That's how you say that word. I tried to say it the last. To match. Think. Think. And don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Do we want to... We, we go see some more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. Oh, no secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me, help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Maybe I shouldn't have been a peeping time in the last video. Maybe your boy would still be alive. This is a good looking game. This is a beautiful game. with me y'all all go die you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp it's like a romance apocalypse say that again ah they'll get over it yeah well i mean they're just kids you know they'll get over it uh-huh like they'll get over emma what no, that's not the same thing oh so that's not why you're in a bad mood i'm not in a bad oh <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. 
Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, beat a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Okay. Where do we go, please? Should we go upstairs, downstairs, right stairs, left stairs? What's your boy doing, baby? He's smoking, ain't you? Drinking? According to reports from oh, he listens to the music. <clears throat> Whatever you listen to. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. You mean I came back here? I, I came back here for nothing. Saying dark yet, I can see. All right, I guess we going on upstairs. And then left stairs. They ain't got no right stairs. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um... You know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. Well, I, can't. Stop on that damn I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan, closing. please. Ah. Hey, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. So is this like the day after? Yeah, it's definitely the day after. Oh, skill. That was some horrible skill. I love horror actually. Just scared of it. Most of the games though. I can watch movies all day. Movies are kind of predictable. Like really predictable. Anybody know what I'm doing in here? Ah, you ain't that big. I can take it. How you doing, sir? Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Very boring. You sound like you're just making excuses, bro. You just don't want to help with these damn bags. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Aw, oh, toughen up, buttercup. I was gonna say he was gonna be the first one to die. 
But uh, yeah, one of them already dead already. And it's my fault for being uh nosy. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh, Jesus. Am I supposed to be just opening the door? I've been walking around like I'm supposed to be looking for something. Nope, I guess not. Bags. Oh, so they're leaving. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? She wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir. Uh... I ain't gonna be defensive yet. I ain't gonna tell you to mind your own damn business. So we gonna go play for, for now. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, Ooh, you robbed me, huh? Oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Sexy, huh? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <sighs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? I can answer that question, but I ain't gonna say it. It must be really that good. Yeah, bro, okay, you like okay. it. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> well, damn. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! doesn't kill you will make you stronger well i haven't killed you yet and you're still pretty pathetic hey shut up <clears throat> uh okay so um total hypothetical but if i was like a huge asshole and i wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here uh what exactly would i need to do 
Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> she must really have something good for you, sir. She must really have something good for you. I ain't gonna break the fuel line, cause then sure you'll be stuck. So we just gonna take, we just gonna take the, the rotor arm off. That way we could just put it back on later, which probably won't happen. But you catch my drift. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. She lose it. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Long. Oh, Nick. Got it. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, oh, oh. Man, good oh. Freak. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> Well, clearly you weren't doing that to oh, uh, God. Yeah, I mean, old girl. Technology Demo. thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency. Oh, Ben. Did you really though? Did you did like did you really get some? Uh okay, well at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Well damn, she everybody just, else. Why she just why doing y'all bad? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> I got a feeling if I were to cut the, uh, the fuel line, that little premonition we seen earlier probably would have came true. Let's hope not. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. I should have missed oh it boy. on purpose. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. I mean, or you could just, you know, find a way through a window or just kick the door down. Or we go break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, Four. three. Uh. Mm. Oh, 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 boy, that was easy. A positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. 
Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Oh, so that's right, him. I well, thought that was him. I'm just gonna take Until another I look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Sometimes I just gotta pay attention. I, just, I get sidetracked. Oh, what do we have in here? Okay, we can't go that far. Well, never mind then. Can we go on that one over there? Gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Hmm. What the hell that crew come for? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't like it. Can I go this way? That was here. Hey, you stop that. <laughs> I would have laughed if you'd have flew at your head and pecked you right in your nugget. All right, where are we going? Because I don't think I could check every single one of these cabins. Because I don't want. I mean, you could at least close the door. The girl just left me. I don't know where I'm going. What did they say? Not like I can see it anyway. This is a novelty signpost. It also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Sure in the hell looks like. And I still couldn't read the damn picture. Y'all got me walking out here all blindly. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, they're at least waiting on the sister. Ready to roll? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Let's do it. Finally. I, I didn't know where else to go. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going through Time every to single cabin. Loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, let's go to that way. I almost went the wrong way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there. What if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. 
Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Don't do it. I got a bad feeling about this, but we go be adventurous in this game. If I die, I die. Hold up. Didn't I say I wanted to keep everybody alive? Well, that failed in the first video. Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice That's a good to thing. Online. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. I don't believe you. Do they? Nah, we gonna be supportive. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Well, we know what you did it, on that island. Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably yeah, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no. They're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. An old boy is waiting for you. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> yeah, that okay, was a I'll bad reference. Let's go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because oh, I mean, you really was trying to get She can take care of yet. her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Line A. Cool. That's why y'all ain't going nowhere, no. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. He was scared. He was scared. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little oh, I was just oh, back I there. Was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? 
think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool That's the story, bro. The last video that we seen. Expensive, better than yours, supportive. Hey, we see that woman in the woods, all creepy and stuff, and and whispering in people's ear. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, hey, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Look at this old fart. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. I feel the same way. I lose everything. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why to worry about your music, bro? Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Uh, that's a little nasty, don't you think? But yeah, I I lose everything all the time. I lay down with the remote, and five minutes later, I can't find it. Wow, just horrible. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. He's a hut. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Now an old piece. Hello. Yeah. Ah. We gotta ease down just a little, just a little bit. What? Because kids are kids. Can only do so much for both. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it. I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Ooh. Yeah, of course. Adios. Oh, he's talking shit. I. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was. Yeah, I was. Nah, waiting. I don't give a damn. I, mean, I heard. I, 
I mean, I, w I didn't hear what you were... We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. I'm not. I don't hide out. Listen, you gonna call me a kid? You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. I know what you're looking for. And, 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 and I know what you're looking for. I know I said that already. So I know everything is okay. But this stuff is important, bro. That's this my is little sister. important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. Still trying to make up for the losses from last year. I don't give a damn. Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the. The, the Hagger Hackett School. Just think next time, champ. Use the old nope. skull muscle. You know what? I ain't being apologetic. I'm already, I'm already being an asshole, so I will just keep going with it. It was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. Hey, they went home, didn't they? So knock it off. Yeah. They went home, didn't they? I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Because they got they got some 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 weird stuff going on. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. Why not? We got here like is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. You're lying, bro. You're lying. Where in the good goddamn are they? I think you know something I don't Caleb know. And, and I want to hear He's about it. Sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. In the damn Let's coffee. I don't like it. He's trying to rush me off. He knows something that I don't know. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. I hope I picked the right choice. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Ah! I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Man, this mask is making me a mouth breather. I don't like it. What's the problem? Ugh, 
Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm, come on. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. But we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! I ah, see you getting too mad for something, but wanting to get us out because it's getting dark. Do I look like a fool okay. to you? Okay. Uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. Probably do, just but spend one more night here. No. Catch my no! drift. Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Okay, at least I didn't catch on fire. Let me catch that. Let me catch that, son. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Sure, 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 sir. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. See, I don't like that. They're like, no, no, no. So this is the day. I don't know. I'm confused at this point. I'm confused. So... What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, stay inside, dummy. Go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. I'm a little curious. What you talking about? What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. And y'all all gon' die. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out. You know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Sure, why not? We are fine yes. kids, right? Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. 
It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just I don't know. Figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. All right. I think that's the way we go in this one. I think now nah, we about to start getting to the meat and potatoes of this story. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And hopefully I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.